Hey parents, welcome back to another edition of Teenager Tuesday. Uh, excited to get into this series. Um, we, we've already kind of talked about gaming once before this year. However, a few months ago, I got to meet a guy uh, who was uh, in, in ministry, pastor in ministry, now full-time gamer, doing ministry that way. And, uh, you know, constantly we get questions, tensions from parents. So I thought, what better way than to bring in an expert, somebody in the field, somebody that has a Christ-centered way that they do this thing. And so, parents, welcome Grant Diamond. Hey, man, how are you? I'm pumped. It's good to be here. That's What's right. up, parents? Yeah, good to be here. Well, first time, Teenager Tuesday. Let's go. Teenager this is, Tuesday. I don't know if you know this. This is the greatest podcast ever created. I am 100%. This is my first yeah. podcast. So For real? It's got to be the best. Welcome. Right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's yeah. good to be We're, here. You know, Joe Rogan's right underneath us. And then everybody knows that's a stupid that, joke. No, no, no that's what I, it's, you're at the top. You're yeah, where you there belong. you go. So uh, for parents out there who don't don't know you, yeah. uh, which is probably probably most people, it'd be yeah. crazy if somebody was like, oh, I know him from gaming. I'm pretty famous in yeah. like a really, 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 really small <laughs> pond. <laughs> but you you do full time. I do it so full time. How, you know, yeah. how did you go from ministry to full time gaming? Yeah, so I have been a pastor ministry. my whole career, yeah. uh, vocationally in ministry, and I just started doing this as a hobby. Uh, honestly, our church plant that we had started. Uh, here in Frisco, it, it, it was struggling, you know, uh, coming into COVID and was just, it, it, we, we knew it was struggling. And yeah. I was trying to figure out how to process that. And I started playing a lot of video games and I had been a gamer growing up, yeah. had gotten away from it a little bit. And really, and parents, I'm sure you already see this in some of your students, it, it's an outlet. Yeah, and, and for me, yeah. it became an outlet. Um, not always the most constructive, but <laughs> but it was an outlet for me to yeah. just get through a really challenging season. Didn't feel like I was winning in these other areas of my life, but I could stay up late and yeah. I could win in video games. Yeah. <laughs> and so yeah. I just started playing a lot, and then I started broadcasting myself doing it, really mm. just for fun, uh, to send clips to my friends. And then when COVID happened, I just thought, I wonder if I could do this more seriously hmm. and kind of made a business plan. Yeah. Uh, actually, the full story on that is I, I wrote in my journal, I said, things I can do during COVID. And I wrote down and I said, uh, get serious about streaming on Twitch, parentheses, Kaylee, who's my wife, hates this. And so so I'm familiar, parents. If you're a parent, if you're a mom who, who struggles with video games and you're like, I just, I hate them. I don't get it. Uh, I live with that. And, and so I've had to put a lot of thought into you know, why gaming can be used for good. And, and we've just seen God do some amazing things. And now my wife is... Uh, my biggest supporter and That's behind cool. it 100%. But yeah. it's, it's been a journey, so That's I'm excited cool. to share. Yeah. That's cool. Well, I'm excited for you to talk about it, too, because when when we talked before, we got we grabbed coffee, you talked about how, like, it's gaming was already big, keeps continuing to, like, blow up and blow up and get bigger and bigger. It's like multiplying thing, not, like, slightly growing, yeah. but exponentially growing. And kids are gaming younger and younger and younger. And you talked about that sense of, you know, people are going to do it. So how can we do this for Jesus yeah, and do this yeah. well? So like, talk to us a little bit about, I guess, the world, the growth of it, the emergence of it, like that kind of, give us, uh, it'd probably be too long to give us the... No, I can give you some quick hits because yeah. I think it is an area that, that most people who aren't gamers uh, are missing and they yeah. don't understand how, we, we, we use the language in video games of meta, all right? Yeah. So just being that in a game, the meta is like the loadout, the weapons that you want to run. What are the okay. best guns? So, okay. so I would say the meta in our culture right now, like the predominant theme is gaming. Uh, we're talking about back in 2017, the CEO of Netflix. So this is four or five years ago now, yeah. all right? I mean, this is that back in Fortnite, you've heard of Fortnite uh -huh, in of its course, heyday, yeah. the CEO of Netflix said our competition isn't Hulu, it's not Disney Plus. It's not these other streaming networks. They said our competition is Fortnite. Seriously. They said we're losing our subscribers to huh. Fortnite. And that was in 2017. Wow. So um, th there's a shift going on generationally right now. You know this, being, being a youth pastor, yeah. that the entertainment that appeals to Gen Z is unique. It's yeah. different. It, it, it's not, they, they want to be a part of it. Uh, they they, they want to, festivals, right? There's a reason festivals are so popular, uh -huh, uh, obviously before COVID, right? Yeah. You know, like connecting, being yeah. a part of an experience, things that traditional broadcast media doesn't do. Gaming, watch this, gaming in 2020, parents, you, you need to, this one will blow your mind. Gaming in 2020 was a bigger industry, okay? Market cap wise. Okay. More money came into gaming in 2020 than all of American sports and the global box office combined. 
Huh. I mean, when you think about culturally, yeah. what's the meta? Yeah. Like, what, what's really moving culture right now? Yeah. Gaming yeah. had a bigger dollar impact in 2020 than all of sports in America yeah. and all of movies globally huh. combined. I, yeah. If that doesn't say something about just, where gaming's at, I don't know what does. No, just not good movies. That's the thing. No, I'm just kidding. No. I, I remember years ago, I was on the phone with... Uh, this is probably three and a half years ago. Yeah. With a young guy, I was a small group leader. I, he, I'm still a big part in his life, and I asked him like, "Hey, how's your community?" And he was talking about gaming. And at the time, I was like, "Like, dude, you gotta get in person. You gotta get face to face, you know." And and then he really started to explain, "Oh no, but this like." I don't just get on and, and play. We talk about life and yeah. we pray together. Yeah. And I remember having a, a first, I guess, a little light bulb, very small light bulb, kind of go off and, and think like, man, there's more to this than I think that I think I know. Because yeah. it is one of those that I'm like, oh, I know what that is. You played original NES, you know, you just go on and it's Mario. But yeah, it's so much bigger than that. And and I know there's some parents that even talked about how, like, I want to get my kid out of the house, but then they'll hang out with people, so, some people on their street, but they won't hang out together. They'll be gaming together right, at each other's right. houses. Yeah, yeah. So, like, like how, like how, what are what are some opportunities inside this world, or maybe even even before we get to that, what are some things that maybe would be good for parents to know right off the bat? Yeah, I don't, slang. I don't know. No, you know? that's there's so really much. really good. Parents, I would say. I would say I would just encourage parents to get curious. Get curious yeah. about what your your students are curious about, right? Yeah. And what they're passionate about. Instead of shutting it down. Yeah, I just think whatever. curiosity is such a gift. Yeah. Um, I don't have teenagers, so I don't want to act like I know how to raise a teenager. Yeah. But I do have, have younger kids. I have a five-year-old, so almost six-year-old and a two-year-old. And, and I'm already a three-year-old. I'm already seeing that when I get curious about their world, it, it builds intimacy. It yeah. builds trust. And, um, and, and with gaming, I think a mistake that I often see Christian parents make is they default to fear hmm. and a lack of understanding over getting curious. Yeah. And parents, look, I get it. It's overwhelming. Gaming is weird. It's like, how do I understand this? But uh, if you'll put in the effort, I think, of just beginning to talk to your kid, talk to your student, literally what you're saying, asking them, hey, I, I'm noticing you can't stop playing that game. Yeah. What do you like about it? Are you playing mm -hmm. with people? Yeah. Or are you playing by yourself? Is it the because there's all different kinds of games. Some games you play alone, some games you play with a community. So just yeah. starting to ask questions like that as a parent, you're gonna gain insight into your student, you're gonna gain insight into your kid. And I think it's it, it's gonna open up an avenue for you to be able to influence them. Yeah. Which is what every parent wants, right? Be able to yeah, influence their sure. kids. You're gonna have influence as you have understanding. Oof, that's good. You have influence as you have understanding. That's really good. Cause I, I again I can I can say for me, and it feels like a, a default is to say, well, this is what I know, so they should know and, and kind of right. move into the box of what I know yeah. versus that having that curious mind yeah. and, and curiosity of, of kind of going into their world or even not being shut off to them exploring more of that world, yeah. you know? Uh, I, again, I don't know if you have some opportunities for them, maybe off the top of your head, that, that is like some good aspects of of that world for their their teenager, their middle schooler, their high schooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that um, that when it comes to like benefits of gaming and things that I've experienced personally, uh, yeah. and, and I'm already seeing as I'm introducing my youngest son, uh, my older of my two sons, my six year old, to video games. There's so much. It's like video games don't have to be destructive. They can be constructive. Yeah. I mean, I'm just seeing already my six-year-old, right? He's playing Mario on our Nintendo Switch right okay. now. And I'm seeing his frustration when he can't beat a boss or, yeah. or beat a I mean, he'll literally try to hand me the the, the, the console oh. and say, Daddy, help me. Yeah. And already I'm getting an opportunity to show him, hey, Things are supposed to be hard. Yeah, a yeah. game is supposed to be challenging, but you need to learn yeah. how to progress through it. Huh. And I mean, look, if you're not already seeing the life parallel parents, you know, yeah. you, you might just hate game a little too much because they're, they're, it's just, they're, there's so much opportunity if yeah. you, it, it, to, that, that it's building, the act of having, I mean, one of the most popular games right now is called Elden Ring. It's, oh, it's yes. it, people I've love it because of how hard it they're is. They're so frustrated by it. It is punishingly hard. Yes. I'm trying to play it. I couldn't get through the first 10 minutes. With, yeah. I mean, it's like, especially it is, the bosses I've yes. heard are 
the, insane. The, the point of the game is you die over and over and over and over again. But people are, yeah. are addicted to it. And here's yeah. what I'd say. You can either look at that and go, look at all these losers who can't solve life problems. Or, they're or you can try to redeem it, which is yeah. always my posture as a yes. Christian, yeah. and go, how cool is this that a game is teaching people the power of perseverance? Yeah. It's teaching people the power of not giving up. And it's tapping into something in their spirit that I believe God has put there because he's wired them for that. Come on. And we just need some, yeah. we need some digital missionaries, some digital natives to help them make the connections and show them it's not just gaming. Yeah, yeah. It's not just gaming. I love that. I love that. Well, Grant, I'm, I'm excited to kind of uh, continue this conversation. Uh, parents, we're going to get very practical too. Uh, in the next episode, you're, you're going to kind of talk about like what are some traps, what are some benefits yes. and, and warnings and, and that kind of stuff. Um, and very practical over the next couple of weeks. So excited to continue to, uh, or excited to continue this conversation. Uh, for this week, as a reminder, parents, please like and share this. Share this with other parents. Maybe there's other parents that, that jumped in your mind when you're like, oh, they, our boys game together. Share this episode with them. And, and hopefully this has been life-giving for you. Uh, as always, remember, you can do this. You're not alone. God is with you. And so are we. Have a great week. Yeah.